Hello, everybody. I've got a message from the Lord to bring to you from Don's email, and this was given to Pastor Randy Brodigan, or Brodigan, however he says it. And then in an, today's letter is a warning that a well, something that happened to a family because of a video game that was purchased to help teach their child history. You got to hear this. All right, let's start with the word from the Lord. Um, it's titled, I am truly with you. For I am coming mightily in my spirit and by my spirit into the workings that are happening. I have heard your cry, and I have heard your call, and I am responding as only I can do. I come rushing from the heavens to destroy the things that are harming my people and are causing injustice in the earth. For I am a good God who loves you. I am just and true just and true when I came and as I walked the earth known as Jesus I showed you who I am and what I am about understand that I love you with an everlasting love that never changes and I am truly with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. I have great plans for my people who are called by my name. And notice this sentence here. I have great plans for my people who are called by my name and who live by my name, I want you to realize today that I am more prepared for you than anything you can imagine or think. Enter into my rest, my refreshing, and my renewing as I am strengthening you now. The days ahead will be even more profound with more things going on, but you will stand and overcome in my name, in my spirit, for I am with you and I will strengthen you. I will preserve you. I will sustain you. I will protect you and I will keep you in my love. Free from those things that are not from above. Know this and be refreshed and renewed in Jesus name. The word of the Lord has spoken, and the word of the Lord is just and true. Understand, those who have done evil will receive for their evil. Those who have done good will receive for the good they have done by my spirit, saith the Lord. You can do good to make yourself proud, to help out your church so you'll get something with a uh, plaque with your name on it for all kind of good reasons. But he's saying for the good you have done by my spirit, for the Lord, saith the Lord, everything will be dealt with in my justice and my truth. My justice and my truth will prevail. 
For who shall stand against the Lord of hosts? And who shall speak against the Lord of hosts? They will all be dealt with and known for what they are. And again, that was from Pastor Randy Brodigan. All right, now, in let's see, I can go ahead. I, I better save that because I like to put the names and stuff in the description box. All right. Let me check my position. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sorry about the lighting. It's that time of day. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read this short one. It's a very short one. From Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I, I want to. Breakthrough will come in moments of progression and victory. Do not underestimate the power of my presence in your circumstances. Stay present with me and rejoice in the small steps that result in your ultimate success. I am your helper. Go forth in strength and confidence. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Okay, this is called Spiritual Portals. This is a testimony, okay? It was presented on October 4th, 2020. Beloved brethren, I had this experience some 16 years ago. My late husband was a pastor we both homeschooled our children, two boys and a girl. My husband decided to buy an electronic game called Age of Empires in order to help our second boy with the social studies class. He himself set up the game in the computer and my boy began to construct a medieval civilization while my husband explained to him medieval history. As they were working in that game, something strange happened. One night, after we prayed before going to bed, Someone knocked loudly on the front door. I went and opened the door. There were two hooded men with long black robes. I didn't see their faces. I felt a creepy cold. They said, We are coming for... And mentioned my husband and son's name. Invoking the blood of Jesus, I slammed the door and ran to my bedroom to call my husband. We prayed the following days, trying to get an answer. A few days later, I had a dream. I was taken to a high place, and from there I observed a medieval age community. There were many people with typical clothing. They were constructing something that looked as a community. It was very similar to the one my boy built. There were many stone and wooden houses. Some were finished and others were in the process. I saw something that resembled a temple. It was finished. I saw an altar made of stones and other things that I didn't understand. Something strange caught my attention. 
Some people were dragging two persons to the altar. They were desperate to finish the work, but it seemed something was missing. I don't know why I perceived that it was a priest. In a way, the person that was showing me the scene made a zoom to the two persons and I realized they were my husband and my boy. I understood that it was something like a sacrificial ritual. I woke up very scared and confused. And exactly when I checked the game, the only thing that my boy needed to finish his game was a priest. When I told my husband the next day, he burned the game and we repented and asked for forgiveness. Brothers and sisters, I tell you this experience because sometime later I had some visions and dreams where the Holy Spirit showed me that these interactive games open doors to the spiritual world. There are evil entities behind those portals waiting for someone to open them. This is one of the reasons we are having so many spiritual struggles in these last days. In Jesus' love, she signed it. In Jesus' love, but her name's not on it. So, or, well, up here, her name is Hannah. I didn't say that, I don't think. But that, that is scary. That you can open up a demonic portal and actually have those men come to your door. I mean, Demons, were, were they demons in robes? Can demons wear robes? That is really creepy. If your children are playing any electronic games or grandchildren, you may have a hard time convincing the mom to get rid of it if they're interactive. I know my grandson did. He thought he played that Minecraft. I think that's what it's called. It was very I think that's what it was called. A very realistic war game. They were very expensive. And they'd come out with new ones every other year, every year, I don't know what. But he always had to have the next newest one. You know how it goes. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. And they play them all the time that they can. And I watched him playing it once, and it was... He started playing it way too young, in my opinion. They were like rated R, except the games are rated differently than movies. I'm not sure how they rated him, but it was equivalent to... For someone older. Mature. M.A. I think. But see. They will cause problems. In your lives. So I hope that you will. Take this. Seriously. And use it to have. Finished cleaning out your house. Plead the blood of Jesus. Burn it. Break it up, whatever, and repent for having brought it into your home. Any kind of electronic game that's interactive. I think that means that other people can play online with you. You can put it in the comments if that's right. Or I know that a lot of you probably have kids that know, so I'm not going to look it up. But... I pray that 
you will pass this on to people that need to hear this and that they will do something about it if they're, they have these games in their home. All right, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video because I'm sure Satan wants our young people to play these things, even young adults. You don't even have to be all that young and might have one and not think it's anything of it. So I plead the blood of Jesus over it and over each and every one of us and our devices, our computers, anything you play games on. Look at all the games that are played on it. If you have one. And um, I plead the blood over our internet connections. And may we stay connected until we're out of here. And I pray that each and every one of you will be found worthy. And myself as well. Worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Wherever it is we go. To get our heavenly glorified bodies and heavenly armor. And then come back. We'll get our instructions. Our lessons. Whatever. How to do what. And come back and do those things greater than even Jesus did. Greater things than these. Shall you do, he said. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I think I have one more I want to share with you. Okay. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.